Okay, so I actually took, I think, uh, three videos of um, all the collection of stuff I had gathered at the two uh, Goodwill shopping trips, one in Portland and one in Salem. And I don't know what happened, but somehow I lost two of those videos. So we are just going to have to go with what I have here on the table. But I think at the end of this video, I'll probably just uh, list uh, photos of a lot of the other ones that I missed. So looking at the first thing I got here was a Luminarch champagne glass with a nice uh, light peach or pink stem as well as two wine glasses. Um, all of them were labeled made in France so I felt that those would be good to have on hand for my eBay store. Uh, I got that one for $1.99. I think the other ones were also $1.99. Then I got this Bacardi Limon. Um, I don't know what this is, like a highball glass. I thought it would be unique and I uh, wanted to see how well Bacardi sells. Got it for $1.99. I know one of the stores was half off red, so that might have been $0.99. Cents. Right here, I got this cute little vintage plaque at the heart on the house, if you can kind of see that. It's actually a, kind of a foil. It's kind of shiny. Um, I just thought it was really sweet, really cute. I uh, got it for $2.99, so I'm going to put that in my Etsy shop. And then, let's see, right here was also a really cute glass uh, vintage. I liked the Starburst and the Rooster Martini glass design. When I got home, the Bacardi and this uh, Martini glass here, I did look them up after the fact and found that there was quite a few of them on eBay, but it's not a bad idea to have um, some replacement parts available on the eBay store. I also really liked this design on the martini glass. I could not find a maker label, so I don't know who made it, and I could not find an exact reproduction of this, or I don't know if reproduction is the right word, but um, I couldn't find the exact make. Um, it's got kind of like a frosted etching on it. Um, there's another one similar to this um, that I could find online, but it's not exact. So I don't know how valuable this is based on brand, but I just really liked the design. So I wanted to have those in my shop. So I got them for $2.99 each, a little bit high for making a profit or not making a profit, but we'll give it a try. This here, this is actually the back of the vase. It's Otagiri. Um, I like Otagiri because it's your um, basic, well-known vintage piece. But I thought it was a really cute vase. Um, there's the front. It's got uh, the bird. I liked the bird. The colors on the birds actually really pretty. Um, and I just thought it was a really nice design um, for my store. Right here, this came from my personal... Um, a collection or um, items. Um, it's something that I had when I was a kid. I gave it to my grandpa. Um, after he passed away, it came back to me. And so I just have no use for it and it's not sentimental enough for me to hang on to. So I'm going to put that in my Etsy shop. Got this at the Salem store. A cute little bud vase. I just liked there's a little bit of an iridescent blue and green um, to it. Just a really sweet little bud vase. I just like the look of it. Um, I think it can uh, look really well in somebody's um, home. So I picked that up. And then let's see right here. Oh, I thought this was a really fun find. I didn't know what it was when I picked it up, but I just thought it was really cute. So I took it, but it turned out that it is a handmade ceramic ornament from St. Abbey. I think it was called St. Andrew's Abbey. Um, they, you can go to their website and they sell a bunch of these and, um, they're actually originally sold for quite a lot. This is smaller. It's not listed on their website anymore, so I'm going to just guess that it's vintage. Um, but yeah, these sell on eBay for like $10 to $35, uh, probably for the bigger ones. So this one I will probably value at $15 to $20. This I just thought was really unique. It said made in Taiwan, so I thought, well... I guess there's a possibility as vintage. Um, again, I did not do my homework before I purchased it. Um, it is modern, um, made by an autistic kid, um, but it's just a really unique um, bowl or mug. I got this set of four Pier 1 Christmas Village plates. They're all the same design. Um, I should probably be able to sell them for a decent price at Christmas time. Sorry, I don't have... Um, ideas right now on what to tell you what I think I'll sell it for. Okay, and the next thing was, oh, 
we're going to look at this a little bit more. <laughs> They're all the same design. Oh, I was looking for the original price. $7.99. I think that was the red tag half off, so it would be $4. And then right here, I just thought this was so cute. Nice vintage um, tourist kitty cat. I I do cat rescue, so I'm always drawn to cats naturally. Um, it was a little bit dirty. I was able to wipe that clean. It was just some some dirt or something. The pages are still in pretty decent, um, what's the word? They're in decent condition. That's the word I'm looking for. But you can see in the back, you can easily unscrew it and you can insert your own um, acid-free uh, scrapbook pages so I just thought that was a really fun piece um, the artist said was a B, B Kimball I think these um, I had bought a long time ago I thought maybe I would use them someday but I think now I'm just gonna put them on my Etsy shop unfortunately this one which I really like the color um, has very fragile binding there as you can see um, it flakes off on the ends there um, I already put in uh, acid-free pages for these scrapbooks, these old scrapbooks, but I really liked the color. Um, I think they could be a lot of fun for doing some scrapbook projects. Um, it doesn't even have to be modern day kind of scrapbooking. Just put in your old pictures, um, have fun with it, enjoy the colors in your home. Again, showing you um, the poor condition of the binding, which is just unfortunate because it's such a beautiful old scrapbook. And again, showing you how easy it is to just unscrew it and fill it up with pages. There's the brand ABC Atlantic Binders in Brooklyn, I think it said. So great vintage colors. Right here, um, I grabbed this. Um, I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Um, I feel like I've seen stuff like this at Dollar Tree before, which is why I can't guarantee it's vintage. And it is a little bit scratched up and it had a little chip there on the lid, but it was $2 and I just wanted to um, pick it up and give it a try instead of putting it on my Etsy shop because it's in poor condition and I cannot guarantee it's vintage. I decided um, to put it on my eBay shop and just see how well it sells. Um, they call these sugar frosted pillar candles um, or prayer candles, but usually being a Christmas theme, it's going to be just a pillar candle. Um, so I just thought that was a really cute Christmas piece. I filed down that chip on the lid a little bit so it wasn't as sharp. Okay, and then I got this vintage sugar. Uh, dispenser. Great little basic piece for my Etsy shop. And this Give Us This Day Our Daily Bread uh, plastic or resin plaque from the 19, I think I zoom in on the age, it's 1950s or 60s. Um, I just thought that was a great addition for my Etsy shop as well. And then this I believe is a homemade piece on just a nice um, stick of wood. <laughs> and it's called The Secret. Um, a nice poem decoupaged onto the wood, just a nice vintage piece. Wanted to see how well uh, that would do. This, I picked it up. I thought, you know, it might be vintage. Um, can't tell if it's a bunny or a lamb, but I'm going to go with rabbit bunny. And a cute little um, vintage or vintage looking planter or pot. Great for Easter time. You can you don't even have to put a plant in it. You can put um, Easter eggs, make it a cute little Easter display. So I did try looking that up. Can't figure out who the maker is. Again, it's one of those things where I feel like maybe I've seen something like this at Dollar Tree, so I just can't be sure. This is from my own home. I decided to sell it. I never used it. It's a stash box um, with a Paris theme with the Eiffel Tower on it. You open it up and you can stash your photographs, your cash, um, any sort of little thing you want to hide and stick it on your bookshelf and it looks like a book. And then the next thing was this really cute um, embroidered, maybe crossed, no it'd be embroidered um, lion or tiger in a bamboo frame. I'm not super thrilled about the frame um, if I were to personally hang it up, but it goes okay. I feel like it goes okay with the, the design. Um, 
But, you know, it's a cat and it's embroidered, so I was drawn to it. I think this might actually sell pretty well. Very cute. Okay, so let's see. It looks like that was everything. Oh, well, what do you know? I put my video on pause. <laughs> That's where my missing videos went. Well, surprise. All right. This piece was a lot of fun. It's modern day, um, but to me, it's just, it's big and heavy, so that's going to be um, difficult to ship, but it's kind of kitschy, and I thought, I want to see um, how well this, how much attention this gets, because it's it's kind of artsy and fun. I can see someone that likes kitsch kind of items or that likes um, unique items. Um, to be good for having on your coffee table, throw a bunch of stuff in it, throw some decorations in it. Um, maybe you can even serve some food in it if you really wanted to, but just kind of a fun, kitschy piece. Oh, and that one is Forrest. He's one of my foster kittens. He wanted to check out and see what I was doing, and he loves to have his face scratched too, so he's probably wanting a little bit of attention there. Look at him. He's so darling. <laughs> I love these kittens. They're at that age where they're kind of a nuisance, but they're just so darn cute. Okay, so the next thing I got was this Treasure Craft um, Rabbit slash Easter Bunny um, plate, or, you know, you can hang it on your wall too, I believe. And then there was eight of these. I decided to pick up four of them, Demi Toss um, mugs made in Korea. I know that's a vintage design. I could not... Uh, figure out much more on the the artist or you know its origin the, the origin of the design but just a nice southwest vintage design demi toss mugs got them for 99 cents each and i wanted to see how they do on um i'll probably put them on ebay there he is oh forest i just love that boy he's so sweet okay the next thing i found i really liked this um marble trivet I believe it's a thirsty stone trivet. It's not vintage, but um, I just really thought the pattern on the marble stone was really beautiful and it's gonna look really nice in someone's kitchen. Um, I thought about keeping it myself, but I have uh, like a, a dark wood kind of a countertop. And so I just thought that's just too much brown for my kitchen. So I'm gonna um, give someone else a chance to buy that. This here is an unused pair of uh, Palais Royal um, Egyptian cotton pillowcases. Uh, it's got a really pretty orchid on it. It's in great condition. Uh, I believe it's probably not super vintage. I can't remember what I what I discovered, but I, I remember it wasn't much that I discovered, but I think it's gonna be a good sell. This was only 50 cents half off, um, cute little, you know, modern day um, set of napkins. It was only 50 cents. I couldn't pass that up. And that dog is so stinking cute. <laughs> so I don't know if that's something that's going to really sell on eBay, but maybe I'll throw it in as a gift for somebody. All right. I got a couple of um, ceramic tile wall plaques. I just wanted to pick these up and see how well um, they do. They're kind of unique in the sense that, um, you know, it's kind of vintagey, and this one features the New Hampshire covered bridges. Uh, it's got a little bit of um, wear and tear or chipping on the edge there. And the other one, as we'll see here soon, is um, a ship. Let's see what it says. Joseph Conrad at Mystic Seaport. Again, a little bit of a little bit more chippy on this one on the edges, but I just thought this is something I'd try out, see how people like um, this kind of style for their home. Now, this was one of my favorite finds, um, a handmade um, couple of, there's two of them, I'll show you in a minute here, little bud vases. One is a little bit more heavily painted than the other, but I just really love the colors. I love that there's a pair of them. And I think it said made by, it was signed D Dottie, Dory, something like that. Really super cute. This is a lead crystal um, tulip votive candle holder. I'm kind of keeping my eye out to see if I can find a 
a matching one for that. Otherwise, it can be a replacement piece sold on eBay. Then this, I thought, well, this is cute. I don't know what this is. What for? Is it for um, putting your, you know, kitchen scrubby in it? Or is it for putting a candle in it? But I just thought this would be really fun to put a little tea light candle in it. And then it shows through the nose there. <laughs> but uh, when I got home, I did a little bit more looking around and someone else is listing this as a vintage um, ashtray. And I thought that makes sense because there's these little notches on the edge there. Um, edge there. So really super cute. Uh, then here we have, this is not um, a true vintage balm. I think, let me see what they call that. Hold on. Yeah, Balm Brothers uh, Victorian Flowers, I think it was called. Um, you can find a lot of that Balm Brothers Victorian Flowers pattern on um, eBay and Etsy. But this is not Balm Brothers, but it's in the style of Balm Brothers. I just thought it was really pretty. I love the starburst and I love the gold and the the roses. Just really pretty piece for trinkets or um, I think it'd be really cute to have in your bathroom and put guest towels and guest soaps on. This I'm going to hang on to for a little while because it's just so um, kind of kitschy and cute. Um, it's actually backwards. Can you see how it got printed backwards? Um, it says it was designed by Richard Alaskas um, from S. Papel and Company and it's Otagiri. Um, so, you know, Otagiri, I'm going to grab it, but I thought that was really unique that it was printed backwards. But what's mysterious is that there's um, a very identical piece um, to it. Here's another No Drama Llama mug, super cute. Um, but that Otagiri piece, um, you can find that design listed under a different name. I think it said the designer was Fiona Sparks, something like that. But she has more of a darker teal color background to it. Um, so I'm not sure if hers is the original. Anyway, a little bit of a mystery to research. So as you can see, I'm showing you some of the other mugs I picked up. Um, I like picking up mugs because they're fun. I think be kind, of course, is a good message. So let's um, put that in my shop. Royal Norfolk, Norfolk. <laughs> not, not a big um, brand so far as I can tell. But um, cute message. And then right here we have um, from artist Robert Mayscock, I think it was. He's an Alaskan artist um, from the mid-century. Um, this is called Blanket Toss, I believe. Um, there's a few of these. There's even matching plates. You can find them on eBay. But I did not do my research when I bought it. But I think it's a good replacement piece for someone who wants to have a complete set. Another really good message, radiate positivity. Very, I like the colors a lot. I like that there's a little bit of white, speckled white there on the bottom. There's the mark on the bottom. Really pretty, pretty color. Great message. So I got that on my eBay already, waiting for someone to pick it up. So let's see, there's the last video. All right, I'm so happy these, <laughs> I wondered what happened to those. That's so funny. Okay, more mugs. So. I saw this and I picked it up. Smokey the Bear, yeah, resist fires, yay. Um, thought it was cute. And then when I took it home and looked it up, this is actually a political message mug. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, try to stay away from, you know, polit political things. Thought this was cute. Um, it is not a metal mug, it is ceramic, but it looks like one of those vintage metal mugs. <clears throat> This is great because these little um, salad plates came on, came in their original box. So there's a heart and a diamond, a spade and a club on each of the plates. Um, I think I did see another set of this on eBay already, but it did not have the original box with it. Um, and I just think that's a lot of fun to have in your uh, kitchen. Maybe if you have um, a small dinner party or something, that would be great for that. And then I got this Takahashi wall pocket with a rabbit. Um, you know, it's Takahashi, so I thought that was a great find. And it would be great for Easter. You can hang that on your wall and put some, um, you know, flowers or something in that. Please uh, leave a comment and let me know what you do with your wall pockets. This I was really excited to grab. They each said $7.99 on the bottom, and I thought, well, eight bucks each is a bit high. So when I went to the register, I asked her, is this $8 each or is it $8 for the pair? 
And so she was kind enough to give it to me for $8 for the pair. But a really sweet set of vintage uh, bookends in ceramic. Kind of delicate, but it's in pretty good condition. So, And again, it's a kitty cat, so I was in love. <laughs> I don't like to collect a lot of kitty cat items, but I'm certainly drawn to kitty cat things. Then I got this really great brass uh, penguin figurine. Um, I thought this is going to be a really great piece for my Etsy shop. It was only $2.99. And it's got a little bit of wear on it, but great vintage piece. And then I don't usually find a full set of these kind of wooden bowls in the store. So that was um, pretty exciting for me to find them. I think right now I'm trying to find the price, the one that had the price tag on it or something, but salad bowl with serving bowls and the, the spoons. Great, great find. I think it was a little priced a little high, but I think it's still worth um, being able to sell on eBay. Um, I've heard that monkey pod bowls and these old vintage wooden bowls do really well. So it's a little bit scratched up there. I might um, see if I can recondition it a little bit. Made in, I can't read that. Philippines? Made in the Philippines, I believe is what it says. It's upside down. But yeah, really cute full set um, salad serving set. I'm pretty excited about that. All right. I think we're going next to the California pottery um, serving dishes there. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think... I'm not sure if these sell well anymore because I, I get the sense that the market's a little bit flooded with this kind of a design from California Pottery, but I really like the colors and it was um, a really good price for me um, at, the, at the thrift store. So I went ahead and picked it up. I'll throw it in my Etsy shop, um, see how well it does, but I really like that speckled yellow. More martini glasses. These were Grey Goose, and I believe I looked these up before I bought them, which was a good good idea because I found that they are a good sell. Um, there's a lot of Grey Goose on eBay, but there's a lot that sell too. So there's a lot out there, but you can still do a pretty good job of selling them. Um, I could probably get $8 each. I'm probably going to sell them in sets of two, plus have a replacement piece available for sale. These I did not look up until I purchased them, but they are a really beautiful, luminescent, iridescent, I guess is the better word, um, stemless wine tumblers. Um, just thought they were really pretty from Dragon Glassware. And I think they'll sell okay. Again, sorry, I can't remember the, the numbers on it right now, but I'm not super disappointed with the purchase, but I think next time, unless they sell really fast, next time I'm not going to pick them up. But they are really pretty and would be fun to have in the kitchen. I really liked these uh, fiber woven, maybe it's banana, fi banana fibers, I'm not sure, but um, I just really like these trivets. There's a set of them and they come in their own little basket. Um, but I liked them because they're, they kind of give a, uh, I, I guess I want to say foreign, um, you know, not modern, uh, can't think of the word right now. I don't want to sound too stupid, but also just, I really liked the um, pop of color. I think it would be really fun to have a pop of pink in the kitchen and on the table. Um, really nice set of trivets there. This, in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have bought it, but it's a, um, a vintage ceramic cat, but its tail had been broken. Um, at one point and someone glued it back on. So I think I got it for two bucks and I thought, well, you know, I'll rescue her and put her on eBay um, for a low price just so she has a nice home. She is really cute. Um, but I'm not sure how well it's going to sell, even though it's a low price um, because it's got that broken tail. Looking at the bottom, everything else is in pretty good condition. Just unfortunately, it's that tail piece, but if you, um, you know, it's in the back. So if you put her on the shelf, you don't even see it. And then I got this vintage pair of cats, set of cats, um, mama and her kittens. Um, 
it's in pretty good condition. I, I wiped off the dirt a little bit, so it's um, in better better cleanliness. <laughs> um, put it. I'll put it on my Etsy shop. This is an iridescent pair of birds, ceramic birds. It's for putting a sachet of potpourri in it. Um, but you know, you don't even have to do that. I just thought it was pretty enough um, for someone's um, living room shelf or bedroom shelf. Really pretty iridescent color. So I got that on my eBay shop listed now. Yeah, only $2. That was a fair price for um, me to resell. So I believe that's everything. Um, that's the end of my first uh, treasure find video. And if you see anything you like, or if you have anything to share, any information, any knowledge, um, any fun stories or memories of any of the items you've seen in this video today, uh, please leave a comment in my uh, YouTube down there. And also while you're at it, if you like the video and if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. Um, doing those three things helps the algorithm and will help support the channel and get more people out there um, to see my videos and learn as, as I learn. We're going to learn about vintage pieces, how to identify um, popular vintage pieces and um, that sort of thing. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Have a good day. Bye.